It's going down in Dirt Town. Today it's the Sunset versus the Riverside, aka the Deathmatch, aka the Battle Royale, aka it's going down in Dirt Town, and aka one guy making noise on some strumming pedals. Whatever you call it, you guys asked for this video, and so here it is. The Weigh-In. In the gold corner, weighing in at just a few kilograms from Westlake Village, California, we have the Strymon Riverside Multi-Stage Gain Pedal. It's a distortion slash overdrive pedal designed around a cascading gain topology. And in the red corner, weighing in at basically the same weight, and also from Westlake Village, we have the Strymon Sunset Dual Overdrive Pedal. It's the Swiss Army knife of distortion pedals, featuring six spot-on recreations of classic distortion slash overdrive pedals. For today's video, we're gonna throw down in two rounds. For today's video, we're gonna be using the Strymon Iridium's Round Amp in normal plain J mode, which looks like this. For the impulse response, we're using a 412 Celestion Creamback 65 IR from Celestion. All right, it's showtime. Tone matching the sunset. So basically, we're looking to answer that age old question Can the Riverside sound like the sunset? Let's go.
For round two, we're tone matching the Riverside. The Riverside is a pretty versatile pedal. It can go from low gain goodness up to high gain madness. Let's see if the sunset can keep up. tones to digest, so let's see if we can make some sense of it all. First off, let's address the elephant in the room. The question everybody wants an answer to, which is, which one should I buy? Well, it really depends on your use case. Are you looking for a pedal that can cop a lot of classic tones? Do you play in a cover band or tribute band? Do you like stacking pedals? If you answered yes to any of those questions, the Sunset might just be the right pedal for you. On the flip side, if you're looking for a pedal with its own unique character that covers a wide variety of tones, then the Riverside could be your option. One thing to remember if you're an ambitious guy or gal guitar player is that both pedals support MIDI. This means you can dial either pedal however you like and then use a MIDI pedal from companies like Source Audio or Morningstar to recall those settings. Basically, adding MIDI with both pedals adds a lot of possibilities. All right, which pedal do you like best and why? Let me know in the comments below. As for me, I like them both, but if I could only pick one pedal, I'd pick the Riverside. Why, you ask? I just like how it responds to my playing. It has plenty of gain on tap. It also has more headroom, as in the overdrive sounds are more open in 3D. 
if that makes any sense. And it does this natural amp feedback thing, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, I play mostly original music, which is about crafting my own tones rather than copying someone else's. I suppose if I was playing in a cover band or tribute band, the Sunset would be my go-to. See how confusing this is? <laughs> All right, to put a bow on this, these are both great pedals that can cover a wide variety of tones. The key is to pick the right tool for the job. All right, well, that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Rocks out. Pew!